Hey everybody, welcome back. We got a 10 piece. It's um I couldn't tell you why it worked. But it did. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be like a jolly rodent. It probably exists. There's gotta be some happy rats. They can't all be mischievous. Pizza Gamer 9000 has a couple of happy rats on his team. And I'm a happy rat myself because we got a trophy. How about that? Um I like it. I would accept it. It's nice. It's it's a nice set of statistics for us. And I'll take an apple just because the beetle's probably sticking around longer than it should. If I if I know myself. So I'm I don't want to be the guy who's like, hey, I we got one win this weekly. Now let me tell you how it's gonna be. But I'll tell you, if you could get an early husky and you could level it up to level three, it turns out that that could do a lot for you. I would love to just spend the rest of the weekly replicating exactly uh, what we have already done and know is not guaranteed to work, but at least can work in some circumstances. You know what? This is going to seem very strange. Why not just toss me a 2-6 Frigate Bird? We're, we're on curve, obviously, because we got two wins in two rounds. Why not try to... Um, Keep it going. We're just we're we're adding a unit that admittedly gave us no positive effect from the purchase, but it is a two six in and of itself. So I think it just it it's three gold that I think is probably better spent that way. I can't believe I'm doing it like this, but so be it. And then I I don't know honestly what I would do after that. Certainly a squid doesn't really seem to make a whole lot of sense um, unless we can find a way to generate trumpets. Don't really want to buy... You know what? I can't believe I'm doing it. I'm buying a second friggin' bird. I am. I am. And we don't even have anything that works with it. But it is a 3-7 in and of itself. It's basically a Tamarin with no late game upside. And I love that for me. This feels unwinnable. Yeah. Listen, I, I don't like being in the perfect brackets to begin with. It's like winning your first two games of Friday Night Magic. Don't don't put me up against the people who are like, the question one, they're like, what's your legacy deck? That's not my crowd, okay? Oh, right, we, for, we forgot we got a... Ooh, now a Lynx. Ain't nothing wrong with that, except the sound was horrific. Give me a tropical fish. And give me a squad like this for now, and a pineapple Ooh, would really hit the spot. Am I willing to sell a frigate bird? I think I am, to, to just get some supercharged scaling here. That's four extra HP per turn on the squad. It's not enough to take a trash team and turn it into a winner, but it's enough to take a, a team that's close and maybe put it over the edge. Maybe put it over... Oh! <laughs> We were so close. I guess. For sure. For now. Okay. I freeze the pill. I know it seems a little spicy. I freeze the pill because a, a banana starts showing up next round. And to get some scaling from a monkey, it's a, it's a touch expensive, but we do what we can. Man, you know what I'm realizing? Turns out it's really hard to beat garlic in the early game. You gotta get like one strong unit, give it garlic, and then just live your life. Like scale one unit, give it garlic, and then go to the moon. A turkey, we have to, right? And then it's bizarre, but sell me, buy me, sell me, buy me. Just because we get the 3-3 the three, three off of it, like, to begin with. And then I'm like, you're not even that good. I know we were just talking about garlic, but you're not even that good. Buy me? Please tell me you still get your effect, though. Bananas and pills? Doesn't really seem like where we're going with this run. And maybe a garlic on our whale? <laughs> Was there a mod to make the whale um, has just the icon as Brendan Fraser's face instead? Or is that... No? There's not, I'm hearing there's not a mod. You know what that means, though. If there's not a mod, that means there's an open space in the marketplace right now for someone with big ideas. Perhaps big ambitions, one might say. By the way, we're done. <laughs> we're toast. 
We are not going to make it. Go full snipe. Forget about this. Take some of that instead. The worst part about this is that I know this can work. Can we just be like... I mean, this is just... I want to lose this for like my worldview. If this team wins, then evil people have succeeded. The good news is I don't think it's gonna win. <laughs> I think it's gonna lose. It's gonna draw. It's gonna win. No, we don't live in a just world, but... But I got the dub. Okay, level me. I really don't see a python do. I know it fits the theme, but the theming ain't everything, brother. Again, I, I, we're really on borrowed time. I don't think we're going to snipe a whole squad to death. We could maybe snipe a, a pivotal unit. Like a turkey, for example, or not. Okay, well, I, you know what? It turns out we can almost snipe an entire team to death. But even then, we're actually going to lose this one. Level 2 turkey goes kind of crazy, huh? That wasn't me trying to build a meme team. It's just like, you know, at the time when all the snipers showed up, it was like, would you rather have a 6-4 sniper or like an 8-10 beetle? It's like, I don't know. I guess I would, in that situation, if you're going to force my hand, I guess I would take the crab juice. It would be like a delicious doggy. I'm thinking of a hot dog. I'm especially thinking of a hot dog because uh, we went away this weekend. I didn't get to do my normal weekend Costco trip. So ooh, maybe after the stream today, take a little drive to the world's most psychotic parking lot. Buy $200 worth of groceries that takes 10 trips to take in from my car. I didn't say his name, but you know who I'm thinking of. Kirkland's signature. I wish I could get Kirkland's signature. Probably be worth a whole lot of money because people love Costco so much, myself included. I do get sure I keep going. <laughs> no, I should have stopped a long time ago. I, if I knew how, I assure you I would have. <laughs> Coming up next with, next with a cut from his new album, Sting. Take it away. How about this? I'm telling you it can work. And then run like a wombat just in case they run spawners. Then you get an extra trigger at some point, and we really don't need that anymore. Shh. Okay. This is, I, I think this weekly is hard for me, because I don't have, I, I tend to like, come up with a plan pretty early in this game, and then stick with it. And this weekly seems, I don't want to say like it's uniquely designed to harm me, but it seems like it punishes that because the early tier units are pretty bad, with the exception of maybe the Peacock. They're bad at, at living to the late game. You know, there's a lot of faint triggers people are running this week. Let's give this a chance. Um, that's not to say, like, I mean, we saw Frigate Bird did some great work for us just as a, as a big body. But, like, I'm talking about stuff that you get on, like, turn three or turn five. And then you're like, oh, okay, my... The rest of the game, my build is something that does X. You know, it, it mindlessly scales the units we already have. Or it, uh, well, yeah, listen, you, you know about Super Auto Pets. I don't know why I'm sitting here telling you as if I'm telling you something unique, you know? We should sell you and run this squad. Love it. You can run Squirrel Worm. If we're willing to wait around. Ooh, what a delicious level. <laughs> so I think I just got to adjust my thinking. And obviously the brain doesn't want to do that. It takes some, uh, takes a little bit of extra work, a little extra focus. It's feeling like quite the draw. I could be wrong. Maybe by the end of this weekly, I'll be feeling very differently. But that's how it feels right now. You just can't afford to be on... We can't afford to have you on the squad anymore. I don't... Well, we have no worm yet. So why don't we just put another tropical fish out there and scale the aardvark for now? I know it's quite unusual. To be loved by anyone. I know it's quite unusual to have fun with anyone. I, I'm not a big Tom Jones head. Sounds right, though. Okay, so... A lot of wasted gold on the rolls there, but lots of stats coming in. 
I guess we don't need garlic if we're, uh, if we just have enough HP. Perhaps. I'll trade you my tropical fish for your worm. How does that sound? Well, they're not returning my calls. Get pilled? Beautiful. I have no idea what I'm looking for. <laughs> the worm. I'm fortunate that that worm just showed up. But for now, I think we can run a lynx. Um, sniping, depending on the unit it hits, it can do something for you. Yeah, look at that. That's all I could ask for. As Austin Powers said, I want a toilet made of solid gold, but some things just aren't in the cards, honey. And we got to five wins without losing HP. But I, I do feel like I'm still sort of on the razor's edge here. I think that maybe a seagull that gives a banana is a more sensible setup for us. And then we'll like... Any unit we buy, we'll get a banana. And then if we pill, it creates a monkey like right out of the gate. That might be like a psychotic way to get a bunch of monkeys early. Okay, your team is just better than mine. I acknowledge your team is better than mine here. And a bunch of monkeys, they could scale anything. If we have enough HP, at least. Very nice. Give me a combine. Now we're cooking something here. I don't know if it's good, but we're cooking something. And then, when you get killed, you're going to spit out a monkey, which is going to get a banana. Holy cow. You know what I'm thinking? Is that, like, um, the logical next step on this is... A, a summon base team. We don't do this till next turn. But like a beluga and a, like a... Sh really, I'm looking for a shark more than anything else. How about a beluga that eats something as soon as it comes out? We still got four life. I, I think we got... It's only round nine. I think we got something interesting going here. The aardvark is just a big body. If it gets a faint trigger, like even better, but... It's just a big body, and I'm okay with that. He got a big body, so we call him Big Body. I think we matched up very well against this team, got a little bit lucky, and we're, we're in the lab cooking now. The Lynx can obviously go. So can the Tropical Fish. But it would be like, sell me? Buy me. Pill me? All oh, right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Still, bu buff me? Buff me. Roll me. You want to see a pill? Or things that work well with summon teams, but I don't think a beluga is it. I, I do think it you have to take a shark. And then the shark goes here, because we got so many bananas on the squad. And you go off next, but we're out of triggers for right now. Huge. Now, I think we're in a bad spot if our shark gets sniped. But it could easily not get sniped. Maybe that's not, like, the most uh, airtight defense. <laughs> it's like, just don't let it happen, but... You know, you gotta make them have the thing that beats you. And look, we just beat a turkey team here. I'm feeling okay. The seagull might be, like, a stealth sort of genius this week. So you're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna buy you for st stats. And definitely, sure, a, a steak could go insane as well. But first, pill me. Am I crazy to think that if I buy a beluga, I have no idea what I wanted to spit out, by the way, but. Maybe a rhino for now. If I buy a beluga, it should... Oh, it has zero triggers left this turn already. Okay. So we would wait for next turn. Then don't buy a... Then don't spit out a rhino. Wouldn't it eat a food? Oh, no, because it's not eating a food from the shop. It's eating a food... No, it just says eats food. Maybe we can get a free play out of this. And oh my god. You don't need to freeze the other octopus. But still. Chocolate? Choc no chocolate. 
feel like we should like freeze a pill just because it would be super easy for us to get a level two monkey out here and start buffing. Why is my shark at the front? Oh no, no, what have I done? Look, this team looks pretty good. I don't think it would have made a difference, but it's a pretty obvious thing to mess up. All because of the 1-1 the one, one buff from the mole. Worth. Well, we should really just... Just do this. Not sweating you too much. And if I buy... This should work. Team wood. Team wood. I was cooking. I was cooking and you couldn't live with that. It's a sad story. You know what then? I'm saying you kill the beluga. And you just roll this monkey back. It does help out your, your shark anyway. And then you try to run like a like big octopus. It's round 12, but it's going to take less time than you think to get this octopus statted up. And we've got what? 3 HP? 3 HP is not insignificant, man. We're stealing the ticks effect. That's kind of solid. Wow, they, their tick is doing amazing work for them. Never mind. They're, you're smarter than me? You're bigger than me? You're higher on the food chain? Get in my belly? I hate this weekly. Because it's actually... Like, my results are bad. But... The weekly itself, like, I lose to so many different strategies that it's very hard for me to be, like, to make a well-reasoned case for why I don't like this weekly. The only reason I don't like the weekly is because my results are not good. But actually, like, builds I've never seen before are going crazy. Some of my own builds that I, I have never seen before are not going crazy, by the way. Hang on, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Our seagull is doing some incredible stuff. Don't screw me, you gotta, uh, we're screwed. <laughs> I can't beat this shark, man. Level three shark's pretty good. That's that's a tough one to get over on. I think we might be sunk here, but I'm having fun with this still. Anytime you get a level two octopus, you can't cry too much. It's always a lot of fun. You know what? Here come the stakes, brother. I don't think the shark's gonna get us there. Let's rely on some beef instead. Please. Maybe a summon team that has a turkey at the back and we kill it is something we could get over here. Big rhino. Big rhino, huh? A large rhinoceros. There's hope. There's, there's more than hope, brother. Oh, we copied their warthog effect, too. At this point, you could do better with that. More of this. Don't really think we need a one-up on anybody. <laughs> Unless... No, no, you don't. So we'd rather have you put a stake. Honestly, we'd probably rather have you put a stake on the shark, too. I know not having the shark at the back seems backwards, but we're like... I, I think this is an order, something that appears to be an order mistake, but is actually more sensible than you would think. Because the shark getting a stake is more important than getting one extra trigger. Everybody lived? Pure skill? Oh no! <laughs> Wait, nobody got his... Yes, the, the thing got a stake anyway. That's what we're looking for. That's not what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. And then give me one more stake off of this. Oh, we don't even need it. Okay, that takes us to nine. Y'all... I'm stuck in the lift. Y'all, we might have a chance here. What are we looking for? I have no idea. <laughs> sure, that's that's something. Give it give it to you. Bizarrely, we kind of hope our opponent has like a level one amazing faint trigger that we can steal. Sheep is probably not what we're looking for. But wait, this is a summon team. Our octopus can go crazy. They also have an octopus, though. Kill the turkey, please. I don't believe it. I feel like I gotta take a screenshot of this one, if you'll allow me. Because this is just like... Let me move my head out of the way. I'm gonna make a face like this. There you go. That'll that'll make for a good screenshot. Um, that's just a team I didn't expect to do it, honestly. 
Anyway, let's run one back. Claim reward. A fish hat. I don't know. I kind of like pants on head. You know what kind of guy we should bring back? A uh, guy who, when he gets drunk, puts his tie on his head. It's like that um, John Mulaney bit about how like, I was raised to believe that quicksand would be more of a problem than it actually is in adult life. That's what I feel about in In media, you're always seeing guys at office parties putting their tie on their head when they get intoxicated. Admittedly, I don't work in an office, but, but never in my life have I seen a guy put his, his tie on his head. I think I, the world is ready for the tie on head guy to come back. Oh, what do you... Oh, no, dude. Please, NL, the world's not ready for that guy. That guy actually owns a timeshare in Boca Raton and 17 investment properties. I don't care, man. It's, it's just about having a good time, okay? Why not? Let's buy you. Freeze you. Roll you. You really have to get meat. If you're not going to get meat, then you're, you're wasting your time here. Sure. Sure. And Aardvark did some fun stuff for us last time, but I think it was more like a... The Aardvark stuff was like a crime of opportunity. By the way, it really do be your own sometimes. Makes me sick. <laughs> birds, the two level two birds, they're buffing each other. It makes me want to cry. We're going to end up losing to a team that has a koala. You don't think we could have used that attack elsewhere? Okay. One of these. One of these. I have to keep that ant for a minute. Oh, but that's kind of nice with it. And then you... Ooh, you know what? You could have a level 2 tick come out there like crazy. We could have a level 2 peacock immediately too. But again, it's I, I feel like it's just kind of played out. I guess we would... And more than anything else, level 2 ant does the best here. A level 2 tick will make the two strongest enemies weak. Which is great. Not because the weakness is likely to make that much of a difference. But it seems very good to override garlic, which is going to be everywhere soon. Okay, that's just an insult. That hurts a lot. Um, but that's what makes the game challenging. That's what makes it interesting. F forget about the tick, if we could run a woodpecker instead. I think tick later makes more sense. Give me the woodpecker. Now, we want it to have a pineapple, but meat's okay. I'm not freezing an apple. And I'm not drinking any frickin' Merlot, okay? Paul Giamatti said it best. You gotta stop buffing each other, okay? Still, the, getting the, the pineapple out of this made it all worthwhile. Portions for foxes. We got a Rilo Kylie head in the chat. I repeat, we got a Rilo Kylie head in the chat. Okay, this is big. I think we should try worm. Worm me. As far as I'm concerned, that should be a 1-1, one, one, but whatever. Whatever. Mole is fine, but I don't want to sell anything to make it happen. Although a seagull might be good enough to sell. Um, I would be content to give you some garlic, just to get the process moving along, just to get, you know, I'm gonna want you to have garlic at some point. I don't think there's a ton of amazing foods this week, but I would be happy to buy you apples and of course chocolates, and sushi is in the pack this week. Hang on, did the garlic, the garlic saved my life. I don't believe it. Holy cow. Take one of these. I it's it is a weird setup we got here. I don't really want to buy a banana just to give you a plus one, right? Like I want you to hit level two at some point. I, I, it's complicated. It is like I, I, mean, I recognize it as overriding food there. I mean that that seemed like a very unproductive trip to the, the shop for us. I feel like we should maybe just jettison ourselves from the worm and then 
recognize it as just a weird phase in our life that we're trying to recover from. Ooh, I'm happy with my draw, but... We could also jettison the pug if we level the woodpecker. Okay. But we need to, we need to find something worth... Okay. That might... Uh, you know what? One worm with meat. One worm with a cucumber. It seems pretty bad. I'm not going to lie to you and say it seems pretty good. It definitely seems pretty bad. We're really being carried exclusively by the woodpecker right now. But if we can get this worm, uh, this is like the biggest copium of the weekly so far. If we could get this worm to level two, you never know, man. You never know. I can't believe I'm doing this. And this is the round that chocolate shows up. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, you got three life. This actually could happen. By the way, I'm an idiot. Stop freaking... Your squirrel! You had a squirrel in there like two rounds ago, but what could I get rid of? The seagull! But the seagull, it, it was so integral to my last win. Yes, but your anchoring on it is winning you the game when it's not doing anything for you. But it, it, I know! Okay, it's tough, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It's not easy. This life is not easy. Not surprising we got a loss there. Huge. Actually huge. Because then we can do this. We kept the cucumber instead of the garlic. That's not what we wanted to do. And that's, that's my own cross to bear. Call me crazy on this one. I'm gonna try a lioness. We definitely need garlic on the worm and it needs to scale like crazy. Or we need like grapes on everybody so we can buy a ton of food every turn. That orangutan's gonna eat me alive, man. So now I got a lioness. It, would it give like a 2-2 two -two buff to everything in the shop? <laughs> That's tricky. Um, I'm going to jettison the whole squad. We're going to be rocking something like this. And there will be a little prayer involved. Uh, certainly a little prayer involved. A 22-23, a 22-24 is pretty good. A level 2 octopus with pineapple is pretty good. A woodpecker, level 2 woodpecker with pineapple is pretty good. I would hazard to guess is probably not good enough, but... I would hazard to guess is definitely not good enough. Oh. <laughs> Vince Carter, I got one more in me. Let's give it a chance, okay? We're cooking something interesting there. I think Cricket is really good in the first two rounds this week. If you can get a fish to level up, of course, it's always nice. And we got a very pedestrian name, the Delicious Sausages. You know, I'm thinking of the Delicious Sausage right now because I'm going to Costco. I've decided, apparently, I'm going to. Previously, it was just a maybe. Now it's like a, I mean, I need spring mix. I need, uh, you can always get a case of sparkling water when you're there, of course. Can't imagine this being any good for us, but you are a 3-2 at least, so maybe I'd be stupid not to at least give you a chance. What else do we... Maybe do we some jerky? It would be nice to have some jerky in the house. You know, I could use some more cereal. I might have to make two trips now I'm thinking about it. And we actually got a win there. Surprising. I can't believe I'm... I'm putting my hope in the raccoon, but nevertheless, here we are. I would uh, certainly not look down at all on the uh, on the frigid bird peacock strategy. Apparently, that's the only tool I got in the toolbox: is get an early peacock and then pray you get enough frigid birds. Hang on, this is why I put the peacock where I put them. No, it's not going to matter. <laughs> close, though. Close. You hear me clicking like a, a madman? That's a, that's a bad sign. Sell me. Buy me. Buy me. And if we got the level... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 213 Peacock. A run in position one, man. You earned it. 
Oh, we should have just frozen because we have the magpie, of course. Now, what's the raccoon doing? Probably getting sold. If I had to guess. But for now, it's uh, existing. And as the offspring said, there's more to live in, babe, than only surviving. I'm not there, but I'm still trying. How about a level? Here go two more for y'all. We don't need the fish to level anymore. I, I think a whale is like... It's good enough. We need to find something for it to eat, obviously, but just by itself is pretty good. Even just eating a flamingo, I would say I support that. And then you just take a cucumber for efficiency, even though garlic is what we really want. This peacock is going to be tough to deal with, but we, we, need, um, we need it to be level two. By the way, it's not going to be tough to deal with at all. You just have a single tick. <laughs> that, well, I was going to say that's enough, but actually it like wasn't even close, but... It felt like it was it was enough to make me nervous at least. I would pill you, take the stats and look for something else to eat. We love this for us. I mean you're edible if we if we had to. Even more, like we could just tropical fish and not even worry about the whale eating anything. Level two peacock next turn could give us oh my god, it would give us a Siberian husky. Holy cow, we could we could have the smoothest trajectory you could ever ask for. You steal my cucumber. It's uh, it's insulting that you stole okay, you're gonna beat me too. Not because of the cucumber, but it, it certainly adds insult to injury. Come on. Siberian husky man. Turkey actually I mean it's so good this week, I feel like I'd be stupid. Not to at least give it a chance. I'll admit that our, our whale is not, like, doing anything for us. We might as well have it eat something. Then when it gets spat out, sure. And uh, freeze a mole, because, like, the, the scaling there is good. But frigate bird, man. We, got, we have this level two frigate bird just burning a hole in my pocket. Do something, please, before the, the, before the cows come out and, and render you essentially useless. No, no, no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Okay, what does the turkey team do? How do we lose to turkey teams? They spawn things. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? You know what would be an easy way to spawn something? I guess you're gone. You, you tried your best, and you're gone now. One easy way to spawn things. Some of this. Some of this. How about some of this? Roll once, freeze this, maybe don't care about that. Maybe we do care about that, I don't know. Stop me right there because we have the magpie. I think we have enough space for everything to spawn. Either way, it's going to annoy our opponents. Nope. <laughs> Feels like it's, it maybe mostly is going to annoy me. Maybe not, maybe... Th oh, they do have a shark though. I don't think that's going to matter. Okay. Peacock beats shark for now. That could change pretty quickly. With the turkey leveling seems obviously insanely important. So take this. No matter who's getting the level, it's more important on you. Sell me. Buy me. Probably the turkey needs to get the stats too. Sell me. Forget about this for now. We can we can get it later. Irrelevant. Very relevant. Insanely relevant. And now we're cooking? Am I crazy to think that, that the, the cook is in progress right now? I can see the progress bar filling up. Stop killing my units, okay? Like, I thought we were having a sporting match here. 1524 Tamarin. I think we still got gotcha. you. It's over for you. Okay. Now what if we could get a second turkey out there? I was just saying... You obviously don't have to be on the team anymore because you're a 4-7. Also, you don't have to be on the team anymore. But we need, like, the Rhino. Admittedly, it would come out, like, scaled a little bit. I don't think it's really what we're looking for overall, though. But it's hard to say no to it in a situation where we could, like, literally 
just have a, I mean, even two rhinos probably would have been better, but a situation where we can literally just do that. I recognize we're missing like a summon trigger, but it, it, I recognize that it doesn't matter as well. This seems like it might be a little bit too much, but let's, let's give it a chance. People be like, just add a fly, and then a beluga that summons uh, another fly to this team, and then you're really cooking. I'm sorry, just watching my dreams go up in smoke. They got their own shark, too. <laughs> Alright, it's fine, it's fine. It's quite a, with a lobster on their team, too. It's quite impressive. Can't deny how impressive that is. How about some of this? I'm not pilling anything. Unless, may dude, I'm thinking maybe you could pill a peacock. Is that too crazy? Certainly seems very dumb. <laughs> Certainly seems pretty stupid. Um, what about a mammoth with a one-up? We can't do it till next round. What about a beluga that eats a whale that gets, why am I freezing a pill? Because I'm going to pill the rhino. Of course. Am I going to pill it or am I going to get rid of the peacock? I don't know. I'm lost. Wait a minute. I was like in crisis mode after the last round. This round doesn't seem half bad. All right, I'm cooking again. You don't have to make any any bold changes. You can sell your rhino. That's That's a change I think is acceptable. And then run this, this, this. Very nice. Probably nice. Stakes are just good in general, I suppose. I think we're weak to snipers. I have no idea how we do against summon teams. Snipers, huh? <laughs> Big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. I'll tell you, this this one-up uh, mammoth would have looked a lot better. It's a strong team with all these bananas. Oh, level 3 seagull with all these bananas, bro. It would have looked a lot better if we had a shark and a, and a level 2 turkey on the squad. I think we could have hung with them. We should actually, like, like, take this, but then please give me chocolate. There's no chocolate. That's... These are desperate times. No snipers, please. This, this, I cooked with this team at least a little bit. There was a modest degree of cooking. One sniper. They, okay, two snipers. They snipe my mammoth. My mammoth's back, baby. And in pog form. They have an enormous shark, though. And yet, it doesn't matter. One of the clutchest draws I've ever seen. Notice me, streamer. You have been noticed. It's important. Chocolate, very important. I mean, this is important, but chocolate is like the be-all, end-all. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. He's roll-pilled. It's over. It's so over. Or, wait a minute. We're so back. Summon team, we're so back. I think we, we compare well against Big Rhino. Even though our whole team has weakness, we beat Big Rhino. Oh my God, we're going, we're going to eight, dude. I don't. It's going to be hard to get to ten, but at least I feel this is a, we got a, a, a an air of acceptability. Obviously, this is important, but it'd be more important to get a level, and probably it's probably the shark. I, I could be wrong. I did no analysis. I just sighed as if I was analyzing and then picked what unit was going to hit level three. I, di I did not do a, a, a comparative examination. Holy cow, this is a strong team. We're, we're washed. Wait a minute. No, we're not washed. I'll never be washed. Okay, we're washed. <laughs> oh, we... Note to self, do not make it to turn 15. Win or lose before turn 15. Still, I had fun with that one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did, and I'll see you next time. See ya!